Deep Ellum Blues Alley is a project that has been envisioned for over a decade by local artists and community members Dan and Catherine Colchair. With the investment of the Texas Commission on the Arts, this project has been able to expand tremendously, adding not only additional artists and murals, but also dynamic lighting and infrastructure. I think that one of the most important things about Blues Alley is learning about the history, and I think that it's just so cool that it's so cohesive and incorporates so many different styles and artists and musicians and people that were influential in a just amazing gallery that you can walk through. Ever since I was a kid, I have this experience where letters, words, colors have sounds. It's a really cool thing that I can incorporate into my artwork. My idea for this was more of a visual representation of music itself. I have a lot of abstract design coming out of the gramophone. This is Sam Myers. Sam Myers is a great guy. He died probably 15 years ago or so. He was a drummer at one point. He used to play with Elmore James. When Elmore died, he ended up going on his own and lived here in Dallas, but would tour all over the world with Anson Funderburg and the Rockets. Over here, I got Johnny Winter painted. He's highly respected as one of the best blues guitar players ever out of Texas. Texas blues, I mean, that's royalty right there. When I was first approached about choosing my subject, I really was um, adamant about it being a woman in blues. And so I looked up several women and Ma Rainey really stood out to me. She was just kind of like a powerhouse. By me searching for these illustrations and being drawn to the sort of promotional uh, artwork that they would publish in newspapers, and uh, in print for bill posting. It really connected me to how a visual can tie in the, the, the content and subject matter of a song. And I think that to have a visual component going with an auditorial piece of art, it, it, it really is a perfect marriage. And so I think, yeah, they, they go hand in hand. I didn't want to gloss over or sugarcoat the history that's here. And so I really want to challenge people to examine what this spot was like in the 20s, in the 30s, in the 40s, and specifically what it was like for people who made this music, which largely were black people. This handful of city blocks has a history that we shouldn't forget about. And these murals that these artists have painted are a very tangible reminder of what that history is, even though we might not be aware of it.